Welcome to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Ah, I can't do the voice. I try, but I just can't. Anyhow, this is a new series that we're starting. I don't know if I want to make it a part eight of There Is No Collapse or keep that going or do I want to start a whole new series I don't know I'll let you guys decide for now I think I'll just make it a part eight how about that okay here's what we're gonna be talking about the title of this video is the Obama effect everyone's been talking about the Mandela effect but we're going to talk about the Obama effect the Mandela effect in my humble opinion is nothing more than psychological manipulation and psychological warfare of the public masses in an effort to twist their thinking if they can get you to think that up is down and down is up and right is left then you won't have the mental acumen to dissect what is coming out of the mainstream media furthermore you won't care to you will feel disgusted, lightheaded, and woozy whenever you try to exercise critical thinking. That is exactly what they want. Therefore, they roll out these psyops like the Mandela effect. If you think about it and just really do the knowledge to it, you will find that it's not very difficult to deceive not in a technological age that we live in all you have to do is change timelines on the internet change a few photographs things of that nature and then you make a psyop about it uh... it's not hard for companies to change their logos change the spelling of their names and then retrograde it on the internet it's not hard at all to make you think that it's always been that way and it hasn't all right if they can do that then they can make you believe anything they want it's not that hard people alright get over it it's not that hard and furthermore the the things that have been presented in this Mandela effect are absolutely absurd let me tell you why who cares for example that Fruit Loops is spelled differently than what you thought who cares that they changed the logos on some things who, who cares it has no direct impact on our daily lives in any way shape or form the Mandela effect is silly it is real but it is silly alright and that's what you need to to know and focus on going forward alright moving along now so when we talk about the Obama effect what we're talking about is the real effect that you need to be paying attention to and that is how the presidential election for 2016 is going to affect the overall markets along with the economy let's take a look in a little walk down memory lane to give you a better understanding of what we mean when we say the Obama effect what it is and how it's played out all right, I want you to look here at a chart of crude oil futures. This is for the trading year of 2008. As you, many of you recall, we had a presidential election in 2008. And this presidential election was to determine who would be running none other than the White House so here we have a picture of the Federal Reserve building in Washington DC in other words it doesn't really matter who wins the White House because this building right here is the real White House alright 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is not the real White House it's this building right here this is the real White House of the nation's capital. This is the real center of power, and that is the bank, the almighty bank, the thing that finances 
everything under the sun the thing that makes the world go around the money all right so the battle for the so-called fictitious White House starts with this White House this White House determines who goes to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue at the end of the day going back to the 2008 financial crisis when you look at this chart you see blue lines here turning into red lines here what you saw with that is the end of a bull market run and the beginning of a bear market run this crude oil chart shows you how crude oil went to virtually $150 a barrel before immediately collapsing with no pullback whatsoever just straight down just how it went straight up it goes down in a straight line down to thirty dollars a barrel before the year is even out alright now let's just grasp this for a moment from July when you topped out you topped out in July of 2008 you bottomed out in November of 2008 so let's count shall we one two three four months later interesting isn't it as soon as they knew that Obama was going to be in the office in the White House and they knew this in July before the November election they went ahead and stopped the assault on the nation's economy this is how you know that zeros and ones have been in effect into the markets for several years this is all done electronically just as quickly as they kept pushing the button to take it up to 150 they immediately turned the buy button off and switched to the sell button and let it collapse instantaneously just collapsed this here is unnatural nothing supposed to go up in a straight line or go down in a straight line but that's what you have here a continual straight line with no correction it had no business being up here at this price there was no way to justify this price this was done in an effort to get Obama elected because that's what they wanted remember it goes back to what the White House okay this house wanted Obama in the other White House the White House that was built for your benefit to make you think that's where power lies but it, it, it lies here this white building controls none other than this right here these markets so through the power of the algorithms they allowed this to happen to push the Republican uh, out of the office and then install the Democrat. All right, they're, 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 they're two heads of, of the same dragon. All right, here's your blue, and then here's your red. All right, it's just that simple. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is this is what rules the world. This is your Obama effect. There are a few ways to look at it another way to look at it is okay so you want to put an african-american in the white house okay we're gonna punish you and this here the dropping of the crude oil price led to another event as this was dropping guess what else was dropping too you guessed it the stock market they punished the stock market as soon as he got in office they let this collapse right as he was getting into the office boom oh he won he's elected here we go Armageddon that's what they allow to happen so the Obama effect is going to be twofold the first leg of it is what is it that they want to do well you have here two people you have Hillary Clinton and you have Donald Trump alright what you need to understand and I said this before Donald's place in all of this was to help get Hillary elected. 
knowing that her running against him would be a shoe in for what they were trying to do. What he is, he is a he is a Democrat in Republican clothing. All right, the man funded her for years, attended weddings and other family functions and things of that nature. They're, they're buddies, so make. Don't get it confused when he says things out of, out of his mouth like, oh, she's unfit to run and all this other stuff. All right, all is fair in, in campaigning. They sit back and they laugh about it afterwards. So what does all this mean and what can you expect going forward? What is the market going to do? How is the market going to behave? What's going to be the end game for the economy based on what happens? Well, let's look at some of these scenarios of what is about to happen. Notice how as the summer is getting into full effect all of a sudden we have crisis once again brewing in the European Union alright the powerful ECB which is the central banking arm of the Federal Reserve that's the Federal Reserve's overseas European arm okay you can say that's their left arm the Federal Reserve in the, in the states is the right arm okay and they are making it so that you have no choice but to do exactly as they want you to do. They're hijacking the economies because they've already hijacked the nations of the world via the UN. So here's what's happening. All of a sudden you have this Brexit thing coming up. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen if Britain leaves the Euro? What happens if they leave the Union? Oh my goodness, it's going to be what? What are they, what are they saying? What's the number one thing they're saying is going to happen if we get a Brexit, I'll show you. This is what they're saying is going to happen if the Brexit vote goes through. That's right, the apocalypse, the financial apocalypse. Now, for those of you who do not believe that that is the case, you need to understand what's going on behind the scenes to prove that that is exactly the case. Mass emails have been going out for the last couple weeks saying that they that, that most brokers, especially those forex brokers, all right, in the foreign exchange situation, they're saying that they have to modernize things and take precautions and play around with margin requirements. So they're they're raising the margin requirements. Some brokers are going to outright forbid trading in the pound sterling altogether. You won't be able to do anything, no matter how much money you have in your account. For those of you who have been around for a while, you remember what happened a few years ago with the whole Kiwi situation, and you remember when the market moved like 10, 15, 50,000 pips instantaneously? I know you remember that. I wish I had that chart to show you, but I don't have that chart. Um, but those of you who trade forex, you you know you know full well what I'm talking about. It's like a fifty thousand pip move. This is what happened. This scenario happened to many an account on that day. It was it was a fiasco. It was it was a nuclear nine eleven situation in the forex markets. Never before seen was the carnage on that day like we had it they're fearing that something even bigger than that will happen if Britain leaves the euro what does that really mean and who is they well let's be a little bit more specific this is they the central bank is threatening that it will collapse the financial structure if Britain leaves the euro there it is in a nutshell. Your threats are coming from here. All right? It's coming from here. If you leave, it's going to be chaos in Armageddon. So all the brokers are trying to prepare themselves so they don't get wiped out in the um in the in the process, all right? So this is where the threats are coming from. So what are we saying this all means? Well, this big knot on the forehead is not for no reason because underneath of it is an enormous brain all right the Vulcan has spoken here's what's going to happen the Mandela effect 
is central banks hijacking the financial system and twisting the arms of the once sovereign nations to do their bidding and to do as they say or else there will be dire consequences that's the Obama effect now let's take a look at what the Obama effect is going to look like here in the states if Hillary wins the White House you can expect one of two things either she may choose to have Bill her husband as her running mate and make him vice president if that happens you will see the reverse of this this chart is the S&P 500 futures contract when it hit the low of 666 back in the um, the March of 2009 time frame this what that's what you're seeing here all right you can flip this upside down and that's what you would see it'll be the opposite see if we can do that here like, no, there we go all right there we go yeah the reverse of that you'll see this go through the moon if he gets in if she gets into office and makes bill her vice president why do I say that because remember the go go 90s who led the charge who was the spokesman for the central bank in the 90s it was Bill Clinton under the guide of Bill Clinton the financial markets had their best best time ever all right all-time highs and all the stock indexes companies were just blowing up with money and just amazing things were happening uh, people had jobs you know buying houses and yachts we had Microsoft millionaires people cashing in stock options and getting rich just coming out of high school or graduating college it was amazing times to behold the go-go 90s if Hillary gets in the office you will see the go-go 90s come back again except for this time they have way more things at their disposal the central banks now have completely electronic electronically connected the global markets in a way they didn't have back then so they can quote unquote print money to oblivion and that's what they will do they will run the stock indexes to heights that you will not even believe possible Dow 20,000 nah try Dow 100,000 and I mean that seriously I'm, I'm not kidding if Hillary gets in office they are going to create jobs like you've never seen before new jobs are going to fall out of the sky everything they've been holding back to push their new agenda they're gonna release you're gonna think that happy hard times are here again happy high times it's gonna be happy high times people are gonna be amazed at, at what they can do people will be praising them saying they're the greatest thing ever and it's just gonna be amazing times you have no idea the power of the Federal Reserve and these central banks you have no idea what lengths they will go to to get their agendas pushed if that means cutting everybody a check for a thousand dollars they will do it understand that they will do whatever they need to do to push their agenda all right like I said there is no collapse it already happened all right this is what you can expect if Donald Trump gets into office absolute carnage in the market 666 S&P 500 will be taken out if Donald Trump gets in office because they hate him the establishment hates him they've already said he's an outsider he's not one of them they are going to kill the financial markets those that see and know this is nothing new to them we're at a fork in the road it's going to be either Hillary or Donald you can't have both it's either or one of them is gonna win and one of them is gonna lose but here's how it goes it doesn't matter if they both win 
or both lose. Now, what does that mean? If she wins, he loses, right? No. Whoever wins, they both win because they're both the same. They're both of the democratic arm of the false paradigm, making you think there's we're in a two-party system. We're not. These two are the same. His job was to get her elected, period. And if their plan were to fail some kind of way and he gets elected, they still win because then he'll make her his vice president, running mate, he'll put her in, uh, make her whatever. They'll, they still ha they have a contingency plan in place, what I'm trying to say, to get their agenda across. So, summing it all up, what is the Obama effect? The Obama effect is the Federal Reserve and the central bank's ability to strong arm governments to do their bidding and to do whatever they say. And until nations do so, they hold the markets hostage. And they can crash and collapse markets in a moment's notice. Uh, you saw the May 10th, 2010, uh, May 6, 2010 flash crash. Uh, that was them flexing their muscles and, sh and showing you what they can do and then they bought the market right back up this time they won't they'll keep it down like they did the, in that oil chart I showed you that's what this is all about now in, in, in closing okay in closing they have been using this to pump propaganda and a major psyop during this whole election cycle to get you to do what they want you to do all right. This is what they use. They use the media to control the minds of the people through propaganda and other psyops. All right. Yes, the Pentagon is building a self-aware AI killer robot that lives on social media. So they have robots that they can go in and do things, make you think they're people to get you to do what they want you to do. All right. So there you have it. The Obama effect is in full effect. Peace.